In 2018, Shaquem Griffin made history as the first ever one-handed player in the NFL. Born with amniotic band syndrome, it caused his left hand to be underdeveloped and was amputated early in his childhood. The linebacker story inspired a ton of people, especially those with ABS. But is Shaquem still making history in the league today? I'm Riley Wynn and I'm here to tell you just what happened to football pioneer Shaquem Griffin. Coming out of high school, Shaquem was one of the best players in Tampa Bay. He received an offer from the University of Central Florida. His twin brother, Shaquille, turned down offers from bigger schools so he could play with his little bro. By two minutes, by the way. Shaquem had a slow start with the Golden Knights, but by the time he graduated, he finished mad strong. His junior year, he was named the American Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year, and he was also named First Team All-Conference. In Shaquem's senior season, the Golden Knights were undefeated in the regular season and went to the Peach Bowl against Auburn. UCF won and Shaquem was named the defensive MVP of the game. And since they went undefeated for the entire season, the team actually claimed a natty. Hell, they even made championship rings and everything. In Shaquem's time at UCF, he racked up 195 total tackles, 122 of which were solo, 33 and a half TFLs, 18 and a half sacks, three picks, four forced fumbles, and five fumble recoveries. He also received the 2018 Uplifting Athletes Rare Disease Champion Award. His resume both on and off the field was worthy of attention from the NFL. Shaquille had been drafted the year before by the Seahawks, and in 2018, Shaquem was drafted in the fifth round by Seattle and reunited with his brother. Watching them hug each other and cry on the broadcast had me asking if someone was cutting onions in my living room. Making it to the NFL alone is monumental, but getting to play in it with your brother has got to be a pipe dream come true. Shaquem played with the Seahawks for three seasons. There, he recorded 25 total tackles, 17 of which were solo, one sack, and one tackle for loss. In 2021, he signed a one-year deal with the Dolphins, but was bumped down to the practice squad before getting released. On August 24th, 2022, Shaquem Griffin announced his retirement from the NFL. Griffin said if he wasn't playing with his brother, he wasn't really interested in playing in the NFL anymore. He is still making an impact on the league though. Commissioner Roger Goodell asked him to be part of the NFL Legends community, a program of retired players who mentor current and former players. As Shaquem said, the NFL was his plan B. Plan A was to make a positive impact on the world. And with his trailblazing journey, he definitely has done that. The Seahawks said it best in a tweet after he retired. A true inspiration on the field. A better person off of it. Your story will be remembered for generations. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know. If you want to see who we cover on our next episode of What Happened To, subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications. I'm Riley Wynn. See you on the next one.